Hi, my name is Elias. I'm a senior software engineer here at Elk. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to flash the operating system for our uh, Elk Pi development kit board and how to get your first sound out of it. Uh, the board I'm holding is already assembled. If you haven't assembled yours yet, we have a separate instruction video for that. Everything I will show you is available in our documentation in case you want more details or miss something I say. Also, here I'll be showing just for desktop Linux in our docs, we also have uh, commands so that you can achieve the same result with Windows or Mac. So the first thing you need to do is download the image of the Elk operating system and flash it onto the microSD card for the Raspberry Pi. The image is available through our GitHub page. Just follow the links from the Elk Pi repository to the releases section and download the newest one. What I show for the next step is available on our documentation page under the flashing the Elk operating system section. I recommend using Balena Etcher. Download it, start the app image from the terminal, making sure you use sudo. Pick your downloaded image, select your micro SD card as the target and press flash. The next step is connecting to the Elk Pi, which is shown in the Run Elk on Boards guide in our documentation. There's many ways of connecting. I'll show using a shared local Ethernet connection. First, follow instructions to create such a shared connection for your particular platform, since it differs between them. So with the devices connected with an Ethernet cable, uh, the first thing you need to do is to find your board's IP address with the command ARP-A on Linux. Given the IP, SSH into the board using the username mind and password elk. Now that you're connected, you can run an example configuration file, one of the many available already on the image. So to start our headless DAW Sushi with the MDA JX10 VST synthesizer running in the background, enter the command on the screen. The and sign at the end is for running in the background. And the last thing you need to do is to connect your MIDI keyboard to Sushi. Uh, first type a connect dash l to see what IDs your keyboard and sushi have been assigned and then type a connect and in our case 16 and 128 to actually create that connection. With that it's ready to play. Once you're done playing just enter the pkill sushi command to stop the sushi background process and um, that's all there is to it. We have a lot more documentation available on our website and most importantly, don't forget, we have our forum.elk.audio where you can ask any questions and read discussion about using the Elk Pi. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in a future video.